development is the ultimate form of value add, right? So we talk about value add of buying an existing apartment building and doing something to change the value to upgrade the, you know, the capacity to generate NOI. Well, that's what development is, except in a really extreme version of it, because you got no building <laughs> and you're going to create a new building. And that, you know, is intimidating. You know, I, I talked to a lot of people that are like, yeah, I just, you know, I probably make sense to look at development. Um, but I just, you know, creating a brand new building out of scratch and not having an existing asset that I can invest in initially, you know, that has a, that has a, you know, it's a different risk profile. Um, but of course, when you're a developer, you know, you, your job is to figure out how to mitigate that risk profile. Um, and then, you know, value add and development are going to catch different parts of the market cycle, you know, not diametrically opposed, but, you know, right now development seems to be, you know, in a better space for producing returns than value add does given the you know, sort of values that people are having to buy at. 